But if the words are just being run through and you can't even hear clearly what the word is, you have no time to reflect on what Allah is saying, then really it, it just becomes, you know, an exercise. The Prophet ﷺ, according to some hadith, when he prayed his nafal prayers, and he read verses that dealt with the fire, he would ask Allah to save him from the punishment of the fire. In his prayer, he would make dua in qiyam. When he read verses that, de that deal with Jannah, he would ask Allah to grant him Jannah. So as he recited the Quran in his salah, he interacted with them, so to speak. Now you can only do this if you're reciting slowly and you're thinking and you're pondering on what you're saying or what you're hearing. So we need to slow down a bit in order to really reap the benefits of this prayer, the special prayer that the Prophet ﷺ has strongly, strongly recommended that we perform in this month. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us. May He open our hearts and minds so that we can understand this wonderful message He has revealed for all of us. And may He inspire us to live by this message. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting, our prayers, our taraweeh, our du'as, and all our good deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also guide us to revive the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and may he make us and cause us to be among those who hold firmly to the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah ali wa lakum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.